みんなこんにちは元気だそか私はアレクスカーディアンだ So this game has existed for about three years now yeah and I have been playing since 1.0 and ever since then we have had several ways crop up crop up over the years to go out of bounds in Ganshin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out these areas and see whether or not they've been patched. Now one of these is one of the newer ways that they found and I just I guess I just also wanted to get it a little documented as well. Um, the these the first two have been in the game for quite some time and I it's surprising because the very first one is they could move the boat like a centimeter away from the dock to keep players from getting themselves stuck between the boat and the dock and you know throwing themselves underwater but it's been there since when did Leo get released? I, I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to how things worked back in the day. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go around and check all of these areas again and see whether or not they still work. So we're going to start with this one. Pretty much since version 1.0. Pretty much, just just like a like a, like a like an average. This has been in the game for three years now. Pretty sure it's, it's been three years. They could just move the boat a little bit away from the dock, and boom, problem solved. But no, apparently not. The second way to get out of bounds is actually in Sumeru next to the terror shroom. So what you do is you go this way. Right? You climb up this brown stuff. What you need is a small character. I think you go over this way. So here. Yep, this one works perfectly fine as well. Isn't that great? And so for the third one is in... Okay. We start out from here. We have to swim down and then enter that 
really twisty tunnel thing. <laughs> By the way, if you are using a, um, a Fontaine character or a uh, Traveler, please do not sprint to the top of this because I, uh, they can jump straight out of the water and land down in this place and you will not be able to stop them and they'll die. I'm pretty sure that's, this is not the way you're supposed to get up here, but I got up here anyway. Oh, there it is. Just this huge freaking gap out of nowhere. Wow. Would you look at that? These places still work, so I guess I'm gonna I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of exploring, just a tiny bit. And we'll see how that works. You might see some extra clips while I'm talking here of me exploring and whatnot. But I mean for whatever reason, the first two have not been patched since being included in the game, and I don't understand why. I also believe that there is a um, a place in in Azuma where the the wall also has a gap in it for some strange reason, and I think the devs tried to hide it with vines. Uh, by the way, practically all of these I found from Musashi, uh, the Genshin um, YouTuber who breaks the game and encourages me to do the same. <laughs> okay, well not encourages me specifically. But no, it encourages people to be like, get out and explore. I mean, the devs literally left a huge gaping hole in the rocks. Just go out there, and it's not breaking the rules or anything because, again, they left a hole in the rocks. And if they left holes, players are going to find them, just saying. So, that's going to be the end of it. That's going to be this month's video. And I will see you guys when I see you guys. Janet. <laughs>